Hi there guys, it is Dr. H here, the Crypto Practor, and today I am in my crypto clinic with my assistant uh, Satoshi here, who uh, helps me through thick and thin. Uh, and today we're gonna to talk about what is a cryptocurrency exactly and who is Dr. H. Now, to answer the first part of the question, I've already made two videos. There's one short called What is a Cryptocurrency Exactly? 60 seconds. So you can get that, that short uh, answer there. So just click across into the uh, channel, check that out. And I've also done a 15 minute on what is a cryptocurrency and what is the use of crypto. Uh, and that goes into a lot more detail. I've got a lot more uh, humorous examples. Well, I hope that they're humorous. And, uh, and I've done that really to reach out to people that are new to the crypto uh, ecosystem. Now I was uh, 18 months ago, uh, almost two years ago, uh, brand new myself, uh, knew not a lot. There was a lot of what I found fairly technical information and I am a, a chiropractor, I'm a chiropractic doctor and I was an engineer prior to that. So I'm not scared of the technical side of it, but I enjoy the principle. I'm very much a principle guy, I like the, um, because using the principle, you can make uh, big decisions uh, if you're grounded in the principles behind cryptocurrency. Uh, I'm very grounded in the principles of my primary job. My main gig is crypto. Excuse me, my main gig is not crypto. My main gig is chiropractic. I'm grounded in those principles. I get phenomenal results. I'm now grounding myself in the principles of cryptocurrency. I look forward to getting phenomenal results in the future. I have complete transparency. I have not made a bunch of wealth in crypto yet. I know I have positioned myself beautifully, uh, and I'll explain a little bit about that uh, as I go. So I was brought up in a working class family. We were actually pretty poor. Uh, my dad, or my stepdad was in construction. My real dad uh, was an alcoholic. My mother left at a young age. Uh, when I was eight, she left with uh, 10 pounds, that's about $18 in her purse, in a, in a bag, and she uh, traveled the length of the country and, and left my father. So uh, we never had much money, lots of love, um, lots of drama, as most families do have. Uh, alcohol broke up my family twice. Uh, I was the first member of my family to go to university, and uh, that was really kudos to the ancestors that went before me, the people that came before me, my, my parents. You know, although it might have not been the, the smoothest upbringing, there was a lot of love and they did work and sweat and, you know, cry tears so that the kids, we could do the best that we could. Um, I became a military uh, engineering officer. Uh, I served in three war zones. Uh, I was on five or six different warships. Um, and today, you know, I'm the founder of a thriving family wellness business and we're just getting busier and busier. Uh, I've recently passed my 20th anniversary, which a few years ago, I didn't think I was gonna make my fourth anniversary, never mind my 20th. Uh, but thanks to some decisions that I've made, uh, I'm still in the saddle there with me and my good lady, we're having a great time. Uh, and I'm on good terms with my teenage kids, which is also good. They haven't divorced me yet. I've got tons of energy. I run every day, uh, well, five days out of seven. I play uh, sport twice a week. Um, but it wasn't always as good as that. You know, I came back in 2003 from my third war zone. Uh, I was attached to the Royal Marine Commandos. I'd been in Yugoslavia in 94, Afghanistan 2002, and Iraq in 2003. So I was there for the two wars kicking off. Um, lost about 20 friends and colleagues in the third uh, third operation. One guy died as I was giving him mouth to mouth. You know, most of them unfortunately were blue on blue, which means it was friendly fire or it was an accident. That's, that's probably what made me the saddest. So anyway, when I returned, uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't the most buoyant person. I wasn't the person you see now, that's for sure. I felt kind of super flat. I felt someone had reached into my chest and kind of basically pulled out my heart because uh, I just felt completely empty. I'd really lost a joy for life. Um, I went down a medical route. For me, that although it was the thing that everyone promoted, for me and in my research, following that it isn't necessarily the best route. Um, and basically, if I'd had an off switch at the time, I would have probably flicked it. You know, fortunately that didn't happen. I was at my low, lowest point when an 80-year-old chiropractor taught me the 
principles of chiropractic that I know now, a little bit like my mentors in the crypto world have taught me the principles that I'm now sharing with you. Uh, here I have my God mentor. Uh, I won't mention him by name until I get uh, further in the, the program because there are six videos, six beginner videos, okay? So six videos, crypto, six crypto beginner videos that you can uh, that you can go through you get the code uh, letter from each video put that together and i give you a big pdf with all the information that i've gleaned over the last couple of years with my mentors i have plankton uh, dolphin whale and crypto god mentors okay i give you their details i give you their um biographies as much as I know them and as much as they want them revealed, of course, because obviously a lot of people are pseudo-anonymous, a little bit like myself. Um, I uh, give you their best links, links to what I consider some of their best videos. So you can start there and then you can branch out and find people that you like and love and you record their details. Okay, that's what that's about. It's just a, a, a basis to give you a pack of information. So within the first couple of months of getting involved in crypto, you have a really good idea of, uh, of where to look to find people to help you. Okay, uh, and where not to look, which is just as important because there's some very uh, persuasive people that you don't want to be taking their information from. But if you understand these principles that I teach you, I'm not going to give you my opinions, I give you principles, then you can use the principles to identify whether they're right for you. Okay, so uh, I met this uh, chiropractic guy that really turned my life around. Um, now, at this point, my financially, I had. Uh, to be honest, I drank way too much, didn't invest as much as I should have done, but I did start investing in um, real estate in around about my early 20s. I did really well with real estate. I realized a principle really early on that you couldn't have a house and make money from one house. You either needed more houses or you needed to rent out rooms. And as a single person, that's exactly what I did. And then I uh, got a second house, uh, started to get passive income from that or pseudo passive income. Um, and I did some investing in stocks and shares. My mum called me the Mech, so that I'd invested in Mexican jumping beans, uh, which was a big joke at the time because I I'd, uh, was invested in South America. Um, and that, that really didn't work so well. Um, I've now had three business I've owned. So I was in the military for 15 years. I used the money from the military to invest in things that would bring me income. Uh, I left the military with passive income from there. I have a pension from the military. Um, I, uh, you know, I've got properties now. I've kind of dipped in and out over the last 10 years just because of my circumstances often changing. So I can never, or I never give financial advice. It's always just education. Uh, but people's situations can change so rapidly that it would be immoral to try and say this is the way to do it that's the way to do it. everyone's in a different circumstance which is why i would never try and advise somebody but i can give you edutainment uh, hopefully uh, keep you amused and keep you engaged in your journey yeah? and indeed you can follow parts of my journey okay um now i'm at the stage that i've had three businesses uh, i could have retired at 32 but I'll be quite honest with you, I still have value to give to the world. You look at the most richest people in the world, you know, uh, obviously Steve Jobs, Bill Gates is still at it. Uh, in the crypto world, you've got people like uh, Richard Hart, he's, uh, he's still uh, working hard, uh, although he could have retired, in fact, did retire, so he says, uh, 25 years ago, I did the same thing, probably not with the same level of cash. It would have been a humble retirement, but it would have been a good retirement. I could have stopped working at the age of uh, 32, 33. I completely bought my house, had no mortgage to pay, uh, had money coming in. So, uh, uh, but that's not what I want to do. I want to work uh, chiropractically till the, the day I die. Uh, my paid hobby is uh, cryptocurrency and, uh, and I want to still be given value as much as I can. Okay, so anyway, this is a little bit about kind of where I come from, where am I now? Uh, I've got a beautiful property I work from, I own it. Um, I've invested the, all my savings recently. I've had a period of actually being sat on a lot of money, but uh, recently I got myself re-educated. Uh, I've invested in property, I've invested in a 107 door uh, apartment block. Uh, and I've invested in a cryptocurrency. Now, why have I invested in cryptocurrency? Um, 
two things spring to mind. Uh, you, if you, when you check out the video on uh, what is cryptocurrency, I talk about a ZX81 when I was programming, when I was 13 years old, taking 48 hours just to make a little blip move across the screen. Um, that was the start of personal computers. I didn't realize, but there was a major revolution going on. At the age of 24, I was with some naval friends of mine. They're all submariners, so they all had a little bit of extra cash because uh, as we know in the Navy, submariners get paid. They don't get paid more, they get paid early. So they get all their money early because we know they don't live as long as everyone else. So anyway, they had a, a big wedge of cash on one in particular, um, can I mention his name? No, I won't mention his name, but let's call him Pete. So Pete said to me, uh, yeah, and he was always the guy that had the latest gear. And I was kind of a little, not jealous, but you know, admired him. He always had the latest gear and he had like a computer system and he was on the internet and we weren't. And he said, yeah, and shopping had just started on the internet. He said, yeah, it's like the biggest junkyard ever. It's a complete waste of time. And then fast forward 10 years and Sears are closing down, Debenhams in England closing down, and just major, major stores are tumbling because of the power of internet uh, shopping. Uber, that's the other reason, taxis. So a taxi, you would pay 20, 30, $40,000 for a taxi plate, and that would be your pension, you know, when you're a taxi driver. And then Uber came along and completely wrecked that. So completely wrecked that. So I'm looking at crypto now and I'm looking at cryptos in that early phase. Like when my mate said to me, it's the biggest junkyard around. And you'll hear people talking and they'll say, oh, you know, crypto's just uh, the biggest scam around. But just listen to some of my mentors and check it out in the uh, videos I produce. Um, they talk about how, how cryptocurrency changes your relationship with your government, changes your relationship with your government. My relationship with my government in the UK was way too close when I was in the military because basically they told me to do something that I had to go to war, told me to do something that I had to do it. Uh, and I've never been a, uh, although I was in the, the military, I've never been a huge fan of institutions. So uh, uh, chiropractors, uh, back in the old days, they, they were said to be uh, rugged individualists rugged individualist that's what a true chiropractor is and I, I look at crypto now and i see some of the people in the chats and that's what i find it they're rugged individualists so um so that's where i am and for you guys that may have seen my other videos i have different levels of mentors i want to share with you i put a lot of their links to their videos in my playlists I have a plankton mentor. Now I consider myself a plankton mentor. Really hasn't been straining for any more than a few months and hasn't been into crypto for any more than two years. So plankton, dolphin, shark, excuse me, plankton, dolphin, whale, and God mentor. I got rid of the shark. We don't want sharks here. So we've got dolphins or whales uh, and God mentor. And the criteria for those mentors are down below. Uh, as I say, I produce a book for you. That's where I've got most of my guidance from. Uh, and my in, in, uh, and where I've been uh, inspired by. Uh, so I'll put them down below. I'll put details down in this description here. I'll put details of the other videos down in this description here. Uh, I'll probably pop some up here top right as well. So if you see something pop up top, top right, check that out, it'll be relevant. And then although this is a pretty rough video, uh, I will either polish it up or completely reshoot it in the future. So where am I now in my crypto journey, okay? My savings that I put in are reduced, right, by 50%. But if you check out the 10 commandments, you'll find out why that isn't an issue for me, okay? Um, the, uh, yeah, so I'll leave you to check out the 10 commandments. Actually, I'll put that link up there, check out the 10 commandments and uh, that'll give you an idea of what's going on. And I'm gonna give you a couple of videos right down below here. Actually, they'll be probably just underneath my fingers here. And here on the right, we've got uh, what is a cryptocurrency and what use is crypto? And on the left, I'm going to put another one that I think you're going to enjoy, okay? Dr. H, out.